गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सविता तिदमे आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज एंड एज इन प्रीवियस फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज प्लाज्मा मेमरी नाउ इन प्रेजेंट लेक्चर विल बी स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज टेक्निक्स इन सेल बायोलॉजी सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स देर आर वराइटीज ऑफ टेक्निक्स इन Uh, varieties of techniques are there for studying the cell biology means with the help of all these techniques the study of a cell and its related functions become more easy first of all the cell if you see it's a very small microscopic structure and without microscope or without a magnifying lens it is not possible for us to observe the cell so for that purpose the microscopy is there right and the microscope um is that microscopy includes simple microscope compound electron microscope the study in detail as well as their application means for what purpose they are used after that stains and dyes are also there and in that again the definition principle of staining classification of stains different types of stains like acidic stain basic stain a uh, neutral stain all these are there then micrometry is also there that includes the camera lucida means if a small structure just like a cell or any unicellular organism like a, um, what we can say um, paramecium yes paramecium can be measured means its size can be measured with the help of the micrometer scale so that is again included in the micrometry along with the camera lucida camera lucida is again one of the instrument used for that is attached to the cam microscope and is used for the making uh, biological sketches means sketches of the biological specimen and uh, all these things which we are going to study under this chapter so without spending much time on the general introduction of this uh, chapter that is techniques in cell biology will be studying the uh, introduction of this chapter so microscopy will start with the microscopy and in the microscopy uh, first of all what is the microscope right the word microscope is derived from two greek words that is my micros means small and scope means to view thus the microscope is an instrument that designed for the visual examination of the small object which cannot be examined by the naked eyes if you see the cell if you see a uh, unicellular organism like protozoans you can you can't observe them properly though they appears in nucleus though they appears other cell organelles right just like what we are seeing in the picture in the photographs but you cannot watch them directly with the naked eyes so for the observation you need to have the magnifying glass or the microscope so, uh, so there are different types of microscopes such as a simple microscope compound microscope and the electron microscope and even phase contrast microscopes too so the study of different microscope is called as a microscopy so what is a microscopy microscopy is nothing but a study of different types of microscopes so the earliest uh, recorded use of magnifying lenses goes back to means uh, the first of all the magnifying lens was used in the uh, year uh, 1958 okay by the scientist jesper so in 1958 you can imagine so during that time means lots of hundreds of years back the scientist they use a magnifying glass and the scientist jesper was the swiss botanist who published a work on the structure of the protozoan right and it was uh, means observed by later the structure was studied by the another scientist with the help of the magnifying glasses during later period of time so in short word in short for the observation of the 
microscopic structure scientists they keep on just trying during initial period of time so during 15th century also they develop a magnifying glass and with the help of that magnifying glass they used to study the uh, uh, unicellular structures and later on that structure means that magnifying glass was get uh, further modified it was become better and better and better day by day and then slowly slowly the different types of microscope like simple compound electron phase contrast microscopes were came to existence right so out of them means existing uh, scientist that time not today okay anton van leeuwenhoek was the very uh, renowned scientist and he is also called as a father of biology okay so this anton van leeuwenhoek in in 1674 remember the year anton van leeuwenhoek in 1674 right was the first to use the microscope for biological study so first microscope was formed by the scientist anton van leeuwenhoek in 1674 and as he observed the cell with the help of the microscope and characterize the animal cell or characterize the cell further so this anton van leeuwenhoek is also called as a father of biology the compound microscope was constructed later after anton van leeuwenhoek by the uh, okay just a minute the compound microscope was constructed by the robert hook first of all in 1665 and uh, further that same compound microscope which we are using okay so compound microscope was first constructed by whom by the robert hook in 1665 and Va anton van leeuwen hook who studied the cell with the help of microscope in 1674 is 10 years nine years later of the robert hook right but still robert hook got the credit for invention of the compound microscope and uh, Leeuwenhoek got the credit for the observation of the biology or biological studies. So he is called Mr. Van Leeuwenhoek is called as a father of uh, biology. Okay. Now after that let's switch to the um, just a minute microscopy. Okay fine microscopy yes let's start with the microscopy and uh, in the microscopy let's see this point which we have already discussed and or van leeuwenhoek was the working period given 16 uh, 32 to 1723 constructed first microscope it was a simple microscope with a single biconvex lens okay now this simple microscope uh, came to existence after this yes this is a simple microscope uh, okay so according to Leeuwenhoek what is a microscope a microscope is what is a optical instrument means the instrument which is used for a vision for observation and is used to observe the magnified image of the small object such as a bacteria cells viruses protozoans tissues etc right so what is a microscope microscope is nothing but an optical instrument which is used to observe the magnified images of small objects such as a bacteria cells viruses and protozoans as well as tissues okay nowadays various types of microscopes are available which includes simple compound phase contrast microscope right and inter uh, interference microscope fluorescence microscope electron microscope different types of microscopes are there later on came to existence then what is the perfect definition of the microscope or microscopy so the study of different types of microscope and their working mechanism not only simply the study after studying what you will do you will going to apply it means you will going to use it for observation right so 
the study of different types of microscope and their working mechanism is called as a microscopy okay after that let's focus on the simple microscope so the simple microscope microscope is commonly used in the laboratory which is nothing but a magnifying glass here is a simple magnifying concave convex glass is used only one lens is there right and dear students if you remember this glass means this simple microscope we also used nowadays for the observation of a little larger uh, animal cells or little larger um, animals means little larger means not like the earthworm or like a human or any other but microscopic which are slightly bigger but can't see uh, properly with the naked eyes okay needs a little magnification so this microscope simple microscope can be used so it is used when very small animal have to be dissected yes for the dissection purpose also it is used or for the magnification of the body parts in the sections or of the small organism which are not seen by naked eyes so for such a purpose this organism can be used yes now let's uh, see uh, if you want to uh, isolate the salivary glands of uh, insect, kibamak uh, insect larvae, so at that time also this simple microscope can be used, right? So just simply we have to keep the slide along with the specimen, or if you want to observe the body parts like leg of honeybee, antenna of honeybee, mouth part of honeybee, this microscope is used the slide along with the specimen is placed over here under the clips and with the help of this convex magnifying glass you can uh, observe the image means a magnified image of this okay now the simple microscope is made up of two parts weaving or optical part so this is the weaving part or optical part and the mechanical part mechanical part includes a stage and all that so optical part that is lens okay so optical part consists of a single convex lens yes a single convex lens is there whereas the mechanical part holds the lens in the proper position this is whatever means other than this magnifying glass other than this means a stage this uh, holder arms clips adjusting screw base everything is going to be the part of a mechanical uh, stage or a mechanical uh, region so with the help of the knob proper this one this adjustable screw is given with the help of this adjustable screw or knob a proper magnification can be uh, obtained mirror is present here you can see the mirror mirror is present for light so light rays can be directed towards the stage which hold animal or a specimen and so that illumination will be there clips are there for holding the slide a simple microscope consists of a single lens or a combination of a lenses which functions as a convex lens. So convex lens mostly the, comes with the combination of a lenses, right? But altogether it considered as a single lens. So a convex lens modifies the object and help to produce the magnified image of a near object right because this distance is very very less and here the objective or uh, you can say here the specimen will be there and within this only five to seven centimeters of the distance the images get magnified because of this convex lens so it is constructed with the principle of magnifying close object right then the enlarged image is formed on the retina and shows the detail which cannot be seen with the naked eyes let's move ahead how the image is formed let's see this okay all right so here a and b what is the a and b a and b is nothing but the object right here the object is placed means on the stage here will be keeping the object okay and after that the light rays which are coming from the mirror will fall down on the object and apart from that see the light rays which are falling on the object again uh, going to 
uh, gathered in the center of the convex lens so it is going to form the miniature of the image in the nucleus of this lens and then this optic center of the lens or the nucleus of the lens going to elaborate this image going to magnify the image right so whenever here is the focal length means at which the image can be seen in a magnified and a clear way right so uh, this uh, simple microscope uh, which is used for observation of a small object right and the distance of vision will be 250 centimeter it is said but actually that is quite less right so we always observe the inverted image of the object means that forms on our retina all right so uh, magnification achieved with the help of this simple microscope uh, is near about three times okay so three times images get more magnified and magnification more than three that is uh, six times three into six can be achieved by using a combination of several lenses so whatever means what is the composition of this convex lens is going to be decide the magnification of the image if it is a simple one then lens magnification that is three times magnification if it is a more uh, complex lens then uh, three into six 18 times magnification can be achieved so depend on the combination of this convex lens so um, the lenses fused together are called as elements and each element uh, cancel out the distortion and defects <coughs> sorry uh, produced by the other element so whatever composite element or this complex uh, lens is there means it is a combination of lenses so each one will going to counter uh, check the if defect of another lens so all together it forms a good quality image right uh, so magnification of about 20 times can be obtained with the help of this simple magnifying lens or the simple magnifying uh, glass so such a microscopes are used by the biologist for smaller magnification during a field work and uh, so in the field you can also easily carry it so whenever you observe some kind of insect or some plant leaves like that or floral inflorescence if you want to check if you want to observe it clearly so with the help of this microscope you can easily do that so it consists of a combination of a double convex lens of a crown glass and fitted between the two double convex lenses right means it forms the combination or a complex lens all right after this simple microscope let's switch to another applications of the simple microscope now for what purpose the simple microscopes are used right so it is used to dissect insects mount biological materials as well as in the forensic laboratories also it is used for observation of the material biological material now it is used to doc used by the doctors to find out various diseases of the skin means they are not going to put your hand under this microscope no simple lens is they can used for just magnifying the skin tissues so as to analyze them right so hairs to observe the hairs and other materials even it is used in the research work to study the gross structures of the section as well as the other uh, material of the uh, animal and plant body right like the antennae legs wings abdominal segments mouth parts uh, compound eyes they can be observed with the help of their simple microscope then further it is used by uh, watchmakers jewelers cloth fiber texture or a textile market or textile manufacturers okay magnifying glasses they can use a simple single magnifying glass to observe the material properly then after that a simple microscope is used to see the magnified view of different particles of different types of soil right it is used for viewing the different particles of different types of soils how the soil is different texture is differ different 
then what is the reason means whether the soil particle means soil size particle is going to vary or not so that can be easily studied with the help of this simple microscope and non living tiny objects are also better study with the help of a simple microscope right so simple microscope is the one which has a wide application can be used in any field so its uh, application is not again limited after that the second one is a compound microscope so this compound microscope magnifies the image of an object much more than that of the simple one yes the modern compound microscope which is also called as a light microscope and is most important optical instrument for the study of cells and tissues it is important apparatus in the medical laboratory it is a precise a precise instrument and needed careful handling and improper use of this microscope leads to the loss of a clarity of the object you also used this microscope in the laboratory for observation of the slides of histology or histological slides as well as a um, fresh water animals as well as a uh, tissues right even the animal body parts they can be better magnified because it uses the two lenses one is at the eyepiece and another one is at the objective right and magnification system is there condenser is there right okay so the light microscope means this simple uh, sorry compound microscope is also called as a light microscope and it uses a white light either the external sunlight yes with the help of this mirror external sunlight can be directed towards the stage through the condenser or it can be used a uh, tungsten filament lamp instead of this mirror lamp may be there as a source of illumination while observing under microscope the objects either look dark or colored uh, means object which is kept over here right on the stage this part is called as a stage it can appear as a colored or a light depending upon means depending upon the source of illumination if the source uh, light is more then the object will appear as dark on the light background if light is less then object will appear as dark on the light background so depend on that so this compound uh, microscope has the body parts like support system is there this is the basal region foot rest is there this is called as a basal plate or foot rest it is also the part of a mechanical system then tube is there this is the body tube which holds the eye piece as well as the nozzle piece together nozzle piece is nothing but this ring like structure or circular uh, plate like structure which is attached to the body tube and also hold the objective uh, lenses also holds the objective lenses so this is again there then course adjustment knob is there that uh, help for adjusting the microscope right even uh in a coarse way that is in a rough way and for the fine observation of the object placed over the stage fine adjustment knob is there which can clarify the image right so minor of uh, minor uh, clarity or you can say adjustment is been done with the help of this fine adjustment screw then vertical arm is there vertical arm that going to hold the tube as well as the stage together gives a fixed position fixed shape to it and towards the lower end of this vertical arm stage is attached right stage comes with the plate or you can say clips to hold the slide and in the center of the stage just below the position of the objective what is there a hole is there right and this hole is for passing the light from condenser and diaphragm right and uh, after that the just below the stage 
there is a iris diaphragm as well as a condenser is there which is used for uh, direction of the light as well as the amount of light which help us to uh, select specific beam of light means a specific amount of light we can pass we can allow to pass through the stage so that the observation will be clear it is not like a huge amount of light coming from the mirror should be share should be sent to the stage if you do so the clarity of the object will be completely lost so we have to very careful we have to be very careful while uh, adjusting the diaphragm as well as a condenser then some hinges or joints are there which are uh, used for the construction of this uh, compound microscope as well as for its uh, easy movement so the stage can be moved if this uh, joint is been slightly loose or released right so these are the parts illumination system part of a illumination system is the mirror right so compound microscope is showing three main region the mechanical system or mechanical part that includes all the body parts except the objective and eyepiece then magnifying system is there that includes the objectives eyepiece is there then uh, the illumination system is a part means a part of illumination system is a mirror or a tungsten lamp is there okay so after that let's move ahead and see the next one mm, just uh, just a minute just a minute okay so before that one point is remaining objective lenses so objective lenses is nothing but what a part of a magnification system or a part of a magnifying system then this uh, objective lenses three types of objective lenses are there first is the 10x magnification then second one is a 40x magnification and third one is a 100x magnification so 10x magnifies the object into 10 times 40x magnifies object into 40 times and 100x magnifies object into 100 times whereas this eyepiece eyepiece comes with the two magnification lenses usually okay 5 and 10 5 and 10 magnification lenses but sometimes 20 magnification 15 is also nowadays available so it is again variable so in the magnifying system how many lenses are there this one objective lens and eyepiece lens and the uh, vision which we are observing that is image which we are observing is two times magnified suppose at the 10x magnification here is the 5x so image will be 50 times magnified if 10x and 10x eyepiece is there then image is 100 times magnified right so i said uh, illumination system i told you about the illumination system so mirror is a part of the illumination system along with the mirror as well as uh, either mirror or tungsten lamp right as a source of light which we are using so uh, that is again a part of illumination system even the as the condenser uh, brings the rays of light to the common focus or common focus on the objective so it is also considered as a part of a illumination system because it help us to either uh, concentrate the light or either uh, means it is uh, it help us to select the uh, amount of light which is falling on the object so condenser is again a part of illumination system and diaphragm which uh, it's lodged between the condenser is used to reduce or to increase the angle and therefore a amount of means a specific amount of light that passes through the condenser right okay so the diaphragm condenser mirror and light that is electric light are the parts of illumination system a magnifying system part of a magnifying system which are the parts of magnifying system eyepiece and objective lenses are the parts of magnification system right and one more is remaining mechanical system or a support system which are the parts of support system footrest tube is there then stage is again a part of mechanical system vertical arm is a part of a mechanical system 
So in compound microscope, three systems are there. Support system, that is mechanical system, magnification system and illumination system. So dear students, uh, we'll stop with these two microscopes. And after that, uh, in the next lecture, we'll be studying the electron microscope. But before that, uh, functions of the compound microscope are same again just like to that of a simple microscope functions of a simple microscope which are they for the observation of the small object this can be used but along with the small means very very fine very very small object is also been used because one objective is here that is having a 100x magnification right so it is used for that and it is superior to the simple microscope obviously right so for observation of the biological molecules biological specimens it is used for observation of the soil particles and all that it is also used for the, for the study of medical purpose this microscope is also used okay